to this, guys. Okay. Ariana Grande has been speaking out against objectifying women when somebody tweeted comparing her body shape to actress Ariel Winter. Mm. The tweet said, God asked if I prefer Ariel Winter or Ariana Grande, LOL. It would definitely be Ariel Winter's curves are sexy, sticks aren't. Ooh. Wow. Ariana hit back that these comments are not okay and that we live in a day and age where people make it impossible for anyone to embrace themselves exactly how they are. Diversity is sexy and objectifying and labeling is not. I agree with that. I agree oh. with that as well. That was a long tweet. That was a long that tweet. That was more than 140 that characters. Really. That was like four tweets. Yes. <laughs> so, Adrian, have you ever been labeled by the way you look? For sure, I think, you know, I was talking to Tamar about this, you know, it, it, for a long time I couldn't understand, I get that like I own that I am sexual, that uh -huh. I, I enjoy that, we talk about that yes. up here, <laughs> but I think there is a difference between being sexual with one person that you are in love with versus being sexual with everybody. Mm -hmm. There is a major difference and I own that, you know, and I think um, for a while, I guess because for something, something I'm exuding, sometimes was sending a message that no matter who I stood next to, I could literally stand next to a guy that I felt was my brother. Somebody else could do the exact same thing and he'd be like, oh my God, look her, they're like brother and sister. Mm -hmm. But if I stood next to them, You're kicking automatically it. Yeah. we were having sex, I'm having sex with them and all their guy friends, <laughs> it's one grand, wow. like, and, and that would hurt me. I'd say, why, why is it that because, either because I'm curvy or I like to be sexy, that I have to be viewed as a slut? Well, you're, wow. you're just, honestly, Adrian, you're just naturally sexy. Right. And that's a beautiful thing. You're not, you're not, yeah, yeah. you're not sexy in the way where it's just like, yeah, you know, I'm it's just, it's just to too much. How, 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 how's that it? face? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's but true. it was upsetting to me that no matter, literally, I could, it could be my cousin, and I would stand in a photo with him, and the blogs would say, this is Adrian's new man. They were, you know, having sex on it, like, you're like, where do you get this from? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not true, that's not correct, and, and it was hurtful. You know what's crazy? It, it's insane that social media is like the schoolyard of today. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know when you're sitting in the schoolyard and people just shout things at you and yeah. make fun of you or say things in front Absolutely. of people? That's what I feel like it is now. It and, is. And what's crazy is when you read this, I actually, for a second, there's two parts of my mind. There's one part of my mind that just thought certain things since I've been a kid, and then the womanly side of my mind today that reminds me different. And when you read um, the first tweet, I, I actually thought, oh my God, being skinny isn't like, being sticks and skinny is not sexy. And I, I used to feel that a lot because- but who said that? Yeah. I'm cool. always on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what though? I mean, today in social, in, in media, Curves are sexy, like boobs and butt and hips, and those are things I never grew up with. Like I've always been made fun of of skinny legs. My husband so you don't see it as that, you know. My husband always says, you know, because I think beauty comes in all different shapes and sizes. Absolutely, I, I do think you're sexy, Jeannie. Uh, I, I do. That's oh, hard. Absolutely, and she knows it, honey. Yes, you she does. Her. You should see her my, one cocktail. My <laughs> husband says confidence is sexy. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't absolutely. matter. Absolutely. You know how you how you are working on that now, post baby, but yeah. But I'm gonna be the first to say hard. it's not. Honestly, the only thing that saved me is not to have confidence, but to have what I call Godfidence. Mm -hmm. Godfidence, like understanding that I was built the way He made me. And like his own really, creation. That's preach. The, yeah, you've been reading that Bible, girl. In, yeah. in his but image. But that's the only thing that I go for. Yeah. It's the only yeah. thing that will remind me when I sit there pointing out things. I'm like. I'm criticizing a piece of work How that somebody that? Yeah. made. That he made. Yes. What do you think, Lonnie? Well. What, Lonnie? She works on my nerves. What? <laughs> Go no, ahead. because we're in this business and mm -hmm. People do that. Yeah, I mean, they, you go from the extreme of, okay, people call you a stick. Well, people call me too big, all right? Yeah. And you know, you just have to learn to be strong. And I want to give it up to Arianda because I, you know what? Speak up for yourself. If you I, feel like somebody, especially on social media, it used to be a time of social media, yeah. they would tell you, well, don't don't answer anybody. Ah, yeah. alone. No, some, now it's called clapback season. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You clap back at those people <laughs> that's doing you. I hear that. Saying, wrong things to you, yeah, right. it upset you. Yeah. Because you have feelings too, and I, and I think that's how we grow as a nation and as a community, because we realize that everybody is different, yes. and wouldn't it be boring if we oh were all God. thin or all fat or, you know, all beautiful? So we need some tree monsters in the world. You Ain't right. that the wrong You and this tree monster.